Welcome to assignment number nine, arguing a motion for summary judgment. The defendant Associated Press has moved pursuant to Rule 56 for summary judgment on Peterson's libel claim. Using the summary judgment materials actually filed in the Peterson v. New York Times case, you will act either as counsel for the Associated Press in arguing for the motion or as counsel for the plaintiff in opposing the motion. Each party will be allowed 20 minutes for the argument. Counsel for the movement, Associated Press, may wish to reserve three to five minutes of their allotted time for rebuttal. In real practice, you may have more than 20 minutes if the case is particularly complex, but each judge has their own local rules and practices. By contrast, the Tenth Circuit, absent approval from the court, allows each side only 15 minutes to argue their appeal. Your small section professor will act as the judge hearing the argument. The arguments either will be held in the courtrooms at the Matheson Courthouse in downtown Salt Lake City or in your small section meeting room at the law school. Regardless of the location, you should dress as if you were appearing in court and conduct yourself accordingly. The Mallet textbook does not devote much space to arguing motions for summary judgment, yet it is one of the most important phases of the litigation process. If a plaintiff can survive a defendant's motion for summary judgment, the settlement value of a case usually increases significantly. Conversely, many defendants will not even seriously explore settlement until after this phase of the pretrial process has been completed. So what makes for an effective oral argument? Well, boiled down to its essence, an effective oral advocate is simply an effective communicator, albeit to a specialized audience, the judge. A persuasive jury argument is not necessarily a persuasive argument to the court. Each of you will develop your own argument style, but there is some generally accepted guidance to help you make your oral argument more effective regardless of your style. In our large section class meeting this week, I will give you my insights on being an effective oral advocate. Arguing in court is stressful, but it's the fun part of practice.